Hi everyone, I'm Braden with EG4 Electronics in our R&D lab where I'm going to demonstrate what the charge verter GC does when it is under load on your system. Now, I have set up a load bank here with 8 kilowatts to start out and my charge verter is hooked up to a pretty big battery bank that is low on power. Now, we have a 12,000 XP that will be powering that load bank while the charge verter is charging up our batteries from our generator that's outside. So let's go ahead and turn on our charge verter and take our amp meter, plug it to our charge verter, set that to DC, and we'll see here, we have about 45 amps, currently 47, going to the batteries right now. Alrighty, let's set that here and start up our load bank. All right, now we have about seven to eight kilowatts of load coming to our 12,000 XP from our battery bank. And you can see here, we got about 118 amps of DC going from our battery bank to our inverter. Now, on the charge verter, we still only have about 50 amps going from our charge verter to our batteries. So we're net losing about 60 amps from our battery bank to our inverter. Now, what this will do is this will continue to discharge your batteries even though you are running the charge verter because the charge verter is not outputting as much power as you're using with the inverter. Now let's lower our power output just a little bit. Alrighty. Now let's check from our battery to inverter again. Now we have about 18 amps or about 900 watts or so powering. And again, on our charge verter, we still have 50 amps, about 51, which means we are net gaining about 30, 32 amps from our charge verter to our battery bank which means our batteries are being charged. Now, of course, they're not being charged at the full amperage that the charge verter is outputting, but you're able to slowly build up your batteries. Now, ideally, the least loads you can use while your charge verter is operating will mean your battery bank will charge up that much faster, thus saving you on the fuel of your generator cost and ensuring that your system is up and running as a backup ESS rather than running on generator as soon as possible. So make sure to take these in consideration when using our Charge Verter GC. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.